Step into the realm of classic cinema, where shadows dance and intrigue beckons. Imagine a time when Technicolor dreams swept audiences into a whirlwind of suspense and sophistication. In 1959, a cinematic masterpiece emerged, captivating hearts and minds with its gripping narrative and unforgettable moments. As you ponder your first encounter with the iconic movie North by Northwest, do you recall the thrill of its suspenseful chase scenes? Or perhaps it was the suave elegance of Cary Grant that left an indelible mark on your cinematic memory. Picture yourself transported to a world where mistaken identity weaves a web of danger and desire, all set against the backdrop of a time when Hollywood magic knew no bounds. Now, let's delve deeper into this timeless gem. Amidst the glitz and glamour, there are intriguing facts that lie beneath the surface, waiting to be discovered. Did you know that the film's title is derived from a line in Shakespeare's Hamlet? This is just the beginning of the fascinating anecdotes that add layers of intrigue to the movie's legacy. From the unforgettable crop dusting sequence to the meticulously choreographed unheadquarters scene, each frame is a brushstroke of cinematic artistry that continues to captivate audiences across generations. So, as you embark on this journey down memory lane, take a moment to reflect on the magic of North by Northwest and the moments that have etched themselves into your own cinematic story. The blend of suspense, style, and storytelling awaits, ready to transport you to a world where intrigue knows no bounds. Masterpiece in Matt, The Illusory House of North by Northwest in the Annals of Cinematic Deception, Alfred Hitchcock's 1959 thriller North by Northwest stands as a masterstroke of illusion. Nestled within its thrilling narrative lies a fascinating architectural charade that has left audiences marveling for decades. The climactic scene featuring an iconic house perched precariously on the edge of a cliff was, to the astonishment of many, a fabrication of Hollywood craftsmanship. Hitchcock's ingenious directive to emulate the architectural style of Frank Lloyd Wright, the era's paragon of design, led set designers to recreate his signature aesthetic down to the last detail. But here's the twist, the residence, conceived to be an emblem of Wright's genius, never existed beyond the realm of studio magic. In the heart of Culver City, California, amidst MGM's bustling studios, the house took shape as a colossal feat of craftsmanship and illusion. Crafted with the finesse of cinematic sorcery, the exteriors were none other than meticulously crafted matte paintings, seamlessly blending reality with artifice. The interiors, a symphony of meticulous detailing, transported characters and audiences alike into a world of unparalleled sophistication. Yet, as with any grand illusion, whispers of secrets abound. Cary Grant, the debonair leading man, cast a discerning eye upon the set's construction, deeming it inadequate for the film's grandeur. A day before the fateful upper berth scene was to be captured, Grant's critical assessment prompted Hitchcock to ordain a complete reconstruction, a testament to the director's trust in his star's meticulous judgment. As the final product hit the silver screen, the fictional facade stood as a testament to the power of imagination fused with architectural homage. The illusory house, conjured from the minds of craftsmen and filmmakers, lingers on as a landmark of cinematic make-believe and an emblem of the movie's indelible mark on culture. With North by Northwest, Hitchcock wove a narrative tapestry as intricate as the illusions it contained. A house suspended between reality and fantasy, a director who trusted his star's discernment, and a grand finale that thrives as a testament to the age-old art of illusion. In Alfred Hitchcock's iconic 1959 film, North by Northwest, a pivotal moment unfolds with a remarkable touch of movie magic. The crop dusting scene, a tense and suspenseful sequence, sees Cary Grant's character, Roger Thornhill, pursued by a plane in an open field. But here's the twist, Grant's dive into a faux ditch was captured on a studio set, while the thrilling plane footage played out on a screen behind him. This ingenious technique allowed the filmmakers to blend real and projected elements seamlessly, intensifying the scene's impact. Hitchcock's prowess shines as Grant's desperate evasion and the looming aircraft converge, immersing the audience in a nail-biting experience. It's a testament to the director's innovation and commitment to pushing the boundaries of cinematic storytelling. As masterful as this sequence is, it's not the only example of Hitchcock's creativity in the film. In another instance, the allure of Park Avenue in Manhattan is expertly woven into the narrative through Saul Bass opening credits. The reflection of the iconic avenue graces the facade of an office building, captivating viewers with a seemingly endless urban panorama. What may appear as a continuous shot is, in fact, an approximately 12-second loop that cleverly repeats four times. Hitchcock's meticulous attention to detail is evident as a two-second lap dissolve conceals the splice in the loop, maintaining a seamless illusion. North by Northwest showcases Hitchcock's dedication to crafting unforgettable moments, whether through calculated camera work, elaborate sets, or innovative visual effects. These behind-the-scenes insights reveal the intricate layers that contribute to the film's enduring legacy, capturing the essence of Hitchcock's cinematic brilliance. So, the next time you watch North by Northwest, remember the artistry that transforms a simple ditch into a heart-pounding pursuit and a Manhattan street into a reflective canvas of intrigue. It's a testament to how cinema can bend reality and shape our perception, leaving us captivated long after the credits roll. 
unveiling the enigmatic threads north by Northwest's intriguing homage to espionage in the realm of suspenseful cinema. Alfred Hitchcock's 1959 masterpiece North by Northwest remains an enduring enigma, interwoven with covert illusions that illuminate the screen. Amid the pulse quickening chase scenes and the suave sophistication of Cary Grant, a subtle reference in the film stands as a testament to the intricate tapestry of historical intrigue. As Roger Thornhill and Eve Kendall navigate a treacherous web of espionage, a cryptic line surfaces, I see you've got the pumpkin, uttered by Roger during a crucial escape. This seemingly innocuous phrase conceals a historical nod to the 1948 Alger Hiss case. In that real-life drama, Whitaker Chambers led investigators to concealed government microfilms, believed to be from Hiss, stashed within a pumpkin on his farm. Hitchcock's film thus cleverly intertwines reality with fiction, melding espionage lore into its very fabric. The genesis of North by Northwest itself is a tale of creative evolution. Initially set to adapt The Wreck of the Merry Deer, Hitchcock and writer Ernest Lehman took an unforeseen detour. Lehman found himself grappling with the screenplay adaptation and expressed his need for a new scribe. Hitchcock, always a collaborator, unveiled his secret concept, a case of mistaken identity spiraling into a chase atop Mount Rushmore. Their creative synergy flourished, unbeknownst to MGM, which had sanctioned the previous project. When the studio discovered the shift, wisdom prevailed, permitting Hitchcock and Lehman to carve their own narrative path. Behind the camera lens, cinematographer Robert Burks unveiled a candid portrayal of Hitchcock's on-location struggles. Frustrated by recurrent expenses tied to police protection, Hitchcock famously referred to New York's finest as New York's worst. This candid critique resonated when the crew descended upon the Plaza Hotel for filming, sans any police safeguard. It's a reminder of the cinematic alchemy that transpires between imagination and reality. As we revisit the enigmatic allure of North by Northwest, these nuanced threads of historical homage and creative evolution emerge, underscoring Hitchcock's mastery in crafting a celluloid universe where the plausible and the surreal coalesce. With every viewing, fresh layers of intrigue surface, reaffirming the film's standing as a timeless testament to the art of espionage on screen. Cary Grant's affection for the silver screen spence, a look back at North by Northwest in the annals of cinematic history, few images are as enduring as Cary Grant's suave maneuvers in the 1959 thriller North by Northwest. However, it's not just his dapper charm that resonates with film enthusiasts to this day. The debonair actor's connection with the silver screen extended beyond his performance, as he made a notable post-production purchase. Upon the conclusion of filming, Grant secured his place in the driver's seat by acquiring the very 1959 Mercedes-Benz 220S convertible he navigated through the film's thrilling sequences. This wasn't merely a prop to him, it was a tangible link to the intrigue and excitement that unfolded on screen. As moviegoers marveled at the daring action, Grant found a way to preserve his connection to those iconic moments, reminding us that sometimes, even off-camera, stars can be captivated by the allure of their own cinematic adventures. This affinity for automobiles isn't the only subtlety that North by Northwest boasts. The film's title itself has sparked speculation for years, with some seeing a Shakespearean nod. A line from Hamlet, Act 2, Scene 2, I am but mad North Northwest. When the wind is southerly, I know a hawk from a handsaw appears to share a sliver of linguistic resemblance. Yet, both Alfred Hitchcock and screenwriter Ernest Lehman steadfastly denied any deliberate connection. Instead, they invited audiences to immerse themselves in the labyrinthine plot that unfolds as the movie's protagonist, Roger O. Thornhill, grapples with espionage and identity crises. Intriguingly, the film also winks at the art of acting. In one scene, the antagonist Vandam quips that Thornhill could benefit from training at the actor's studio. This becomes a curious coincidence when we delve into the backgrounds of the film's stars. Both Eva Marie Saint, who portrayed the enigmatic Eve Kendall, and Martin Landau, who brilliantly brought Van Damme's henchmen to life, hailed from the actor's studio. While the film's narrative propels Thornhill into a world of make-believe, the performers behind their roles had already honed their craft at one of the most renowned institutions for dramatic arts. As we revisit North by Northwest, it's not just the action-packed sequences or the suspenseful intrigue that capture our attention. It's the hidden layers, the personal connections, and the enigmatic references that remind us of the artistry behind the film. Cary Grant's car purchase, the tantalizing title, and the subtle acting nod all contribute to the movie's mystique, making it a timeless classic that continues to intrigue and enthrall audiences to this day. As the final credits of the 1959 classic, North by Northwest, roll across the screen, it's not just a movie that fades away into the archives of history, it's an experience that becomes a part of your own story. The enthralling tale of mistaken identity, espionage, and suspense has a way of burrowing deep into the chambers of your imagination. It's not just Cary Grant being chased by a plane in an open field, it's that exhilarating moment when life takes an unexpected turn and you find yourself on an adventure you never saw coming. As you reflect on the suave sophistication of Grant's character, the enigmatic beauty of Eva Marie Saint, and the masterful direction of Hitchcock, you can't help but see the threads of your own life woven into the fabric of the film. 
Maybe you've felt like a pawn in a grander scheme, or perhaps you've experienced the thrill of crossing paths with a captivating stranger. North by Northwest beckons you to look beyond the surface and unearth the layers of connection that make cinema such a timeless and universal art. Think back to those late nights or lazy afternoons when you stumbled upon this cinematic gem. Was it the dialogue, the suspenseful plot twists, or the dazzling cinematography that captured your heart? What emotions did it stir within you, and how did it influence your perception of the world around you? Share those cherished memories, those personal reflections that make North by Northwest not just a movie, but a fragment of your own narrative. Your voice adds a unique hue to the symphony of thoughts and impressions this film has inspired over the decades. So, as the conversation continues, let your memories be a part of this ongoing journey, a testament to the enduring magic of storytelling and film. Thank you for taking the time to delve into the world of North by Northwest and for sharing your thoughts and memories. It's these interactions that keep the spirit of classic cinema alive and vibrant. Until our next cinematic rendezvous, keep exploring, keep watching, and keep those reflections alive. Warmly, your name, your title, role.